हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मेसी लेसन्स मेड इजी सो दिस इज अनदर वीडियो इन द सीरीज ऑफ बी फॉर्म थर्ड सेमेस्टर फार्मास्यूटिकल इंजीनियरिंग थियरी सब्जेक्ट सो वी शेल बी स्टार्टिंग अनदर सब टॉपिक एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन विद फ्लो फ्लूड साइज रिडक्शन साइज सेपरेशन इवेपोरेशन एंड नाउ द ड्राइंग एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड मैनी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स so if you want to refer to any of the previous topics so that playlist is available in the youtube channel playlist section with the name b form third semester so you can go through any one of them and these small small videos will not only clarify your concepts but also will help you in revision of the same topic because you have to recall uh, not only the basic principle but also what are the ma major advantages limitations of each and every instrument so that is how they may be useful for you so uh, it's a single request please go through the entire video so that uh, it will be useful for you to retain the information that you are gaining so let's begin so far we have discussed about the basics of drying followed by a few equipments that included a tray dryer drum dryer followed by spray dryer and fluidized bed dryer in this video we shall talk about the vacuum dryer the basic principle of vacuum dryer is the material which is to be dried by the application of vacuum the vacuum is once created it will lower down the pressure so that the water will boil at comparatively lower temperature because the same vapor pressure will be achieved at lower temperature comparatively so the evaporation of the solvent will become faster as compared to without applying the vacuum so ultimately the transfer of heat will be rapid if we see the construction part there is well insulated heavy jacketed vessel which can withstand the high pressure there are shelves for keeping trays inside the trays we generally put the material which is to be dried and these trays owing to their better surface area will offer good contact area for exchange of heat there is an airtight seal of doors so that properly the vacuum can be applied and there is requirement of vacuum pump so as to create the vacuum the shelves uh, can even provide a surface area varying from 45 to 50 meter squares if we see the working the material which is to be dried is put inside the trays the trays are placed on the shelves and we reduce the pressure up to 30 to 60 kilo pascals this can be done with the help of vacuum pump keeping the doors closed and the steam or the hot air will be supplied into the blank space of jacket and shelves through the mode of conduction the transfer of heat will take place after taking this heat the solvent will get evaporated at comparatively lower temperature generally at 25 to 30 degrees celsius by keeping the pressure up to 30 to 60 kilo pascal so that's how the water vapor passes into the condenser where the condensation will actually take place so once you'll get the dried material you have to disconnect the vacuum which was applied and collect the dried material from the chamber the major uses of uh, this vacuum dryer is it can be applied for drying of thermolabile products because the heat is being transferred at a very low temperature being uh, in the vacuum conditions the evaporation will take faster and at lower temperature so there will be no problem of degradation of thermolabile products similarly the hygroscopic materials can be dried using this the toxic solvents can also be removed and the product that we get after doing vacuum drying is porous 
The major merits that a vacuum dryer offer is the large surface area and uh, easy handling. Whereas the heat transfer coefficient is quite low and because of the accessories, especially the vacuum pump, this equipment becomes quite expensive. Not only this, sometimes the overheating may take place which may degrade the product. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Do click on the like button if you like the concept, the way it was explained. Do subscribe my channel, Pharmacy Lessons Made Easy. Have a nice time. Thank you.